this is home for the next week. Hi Jam Fam, welcome back to my channel. If you didn't know by the title of this vlog, I'm actually in Hawaii right now. I'm on a girls trip. This place is incredible. Let me show you guys. This is the view from the hotel. As you can see, it's absolutely stunning. And this is the beach right over here. Five minutes later. I literally just got changed to come outside, go to the beach, put the tripod here. It got windy and my phone literally is down here. It fell off. That's the case. That's the phone. I'm so scared right now. I don't know if it's going to be okay. <laughs> Guys, this is not a good start to the trip. I've been in Hawaii for like, this is like two seconds after I just finished vlogging. I changed. I was like, okay, I'm going to put the tripod here, get a shot for my story. Not good. Okay, I'm, I'm panicking right now. Where's the room key? Room key. Eh, I don't even know where to go. I'm panicking right now. I hope my phone is okay. All right, guys, let's go find out. It looked like it fell down four stories to the parking garage. Ugh. Where's the exit? This is the exit. That? Okay, let's go. This was, that was so dark. Okay. I think. Oh. Okay, this guy, I'm just knocking on the door. There's the phone. Let's see if the phone is okay. I'm so scared right now. Thank you. Oh my gosh. If that didn't break. It fell off the roof. Oh my gosh, it's not even broken. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Thank you. Four stories and it's okay. It doesn't even have a crack. Have a little mini heart attack. That was the stupidest thing. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm back in the room. My heart is still racing. I'm gonna FaceTime Alex <laughs> and tell him what just happened. So, you're dating maybe the dumbest girl who's ever existed. Well, I like him dumb and blonde. <laughs> so, we just had a crisis. I was leave I was literally about to leave the room just at an intro for the vlog. And I was like, "Okay, I'm going to get out one tripod shot for a TikTok." Put my phone here. Alex, the phone went all the way down there. Four stories onto the car park. The case, it bounced off, but the phone is totally fine. Really? Totally fine, not even a crack, nothing. Not even a scratch, nothing. Wow. Four stories, it fell straight onto concrete. Wow. Not even in the Otterbox case. I know, I was like, I was like starting the vlog, I was like, I need to tell Alex this because, you know, he's probably gonna think I'm a little bit of an idiot. But anyway. I can't believe that happened. That would only happen to you. Four stories. A Robbie move. I'm so glad your phone's okay. <laughs> Three hours later. All right, it's been a couple hours after the phone drop incident. I went to the beach, I chilled out, and now I'm back in the room. And beautiful Beth is here with me. Beth, welcome to the vlog. Hi. <laughs> this is Beth. She is Australian as well. Yes, I am. Take it from here. Intro yourself. Um, well, I was also on Robbie's vlog in LA and our boyfriends met and they look the same yes let's I'm gonna put a shot of the screenshot here a shot of the I'm gonna put a screen the recording blah, blah, blah. of the TikTok here you guys went crazy because her man looks exactly like Alex it's pretty funny I actually I, got asked today if they were twins just randomly wait, really? yeah by Anita it's really funny that's so funny but yeah anyway go check it out if you haven't seen it we are actually about to go back to the beach now so we got changed when I got some food we actually got burgers and now we're going to head back to the beach. <laughs> Got to our photo shoot spot and uh, the tide is super high and we're scared. Can you imagine living in this house? Like this is there's an oceanfront property. We probably shouldn't like film some someone's house. But anyway. What if he's waving at us? 
All right, so after a nice early start, 5.30 to be precise, which you guys know, I'm not a morning girl. We're in the car, we're on the way. It's a beautiful morning. We are driving to a beach on the other side of the island with beautiful Anita and Beth over here. Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. And Anita is a living angel because she brought us coffee and you guys know it's the way to my home. So the early morning was definitely worth it. Look at this beach, guys. This is ridiculous. All right, so this is the mountains up here. It's perfect. I feel like this is like a little kind of rock pool area. This water is like crystal clear. All right, I just wrapped up finishing this bikini. I'm actually gonna go for a swim. I had other stuff that I wanted to shoot, but to be honest with you, I really just wanna hang out and enjoy this beach and go swimming. And we actually just planned a snorkeling tour. So we're gonna go do a snorkeling tour and a boat ride in the next couple of days. I'm really excited. There's a three hour time difference between here and LA. So we've actually been getting up really early. So, I mean, we got up at 5.30 this morning, which I guess is like 6 30, 8.30, 8.30 already in LA. So not super early, but that means we've also been going to bed early. So we've had the first two days of the trip working, shooting stuff, we had deals with brands and campaigns and now it is time to hang out and relax. We've got another three days of the trip and it's just going to be purely hanging out. Another bikini change. We've been down here for hours now, the girls are still shooting, I've been reading my book, I'm nearly finished but I wanted to show you guys something. So the photographer Anita who lives here was just telling us that this wall is actually the wall outside of Obama's house. So apparently they're building a house here, the Obamas, and this is the wall that they built around it. So I thought that was kind of interesting, and I just wanted to show you guys. Right, so look at this water, oh my gosh. Literally clear. And then this is apparently the house, so I can't even imagine how beautiful it would be. All right, sorry that was so loud, they're obviously building Actually, I don't know if that's true or not, if that is the Obama's house, but I thought that was kind of cool. Wanted to show you guys where we are. This is a beautiful little beach. It's about half an hour away from where we're staying. I actually don't know the name. I'll go ask Anita. But all I know is that it is seriously up there with one of the prettiest beaches I've ever seen. Hold up. I just saw some rubbish and there's no way I can even good conscious walk past that. So let's grab that. <laughs> let's leave it a little bit prettier. That's actually such a good thing to do, guys. If you're at the beach and you see rubbish, make sure you pick it up. But if everyone did it, we wouldn't have so much pollution in the oceans and it's such a quick, easy thing to do. Alright, I'm just laying here, reading my book, and look at this. There is a skydiver right here. That's so cool. The girl just said it's actually not a skydiver, it is a paraglider. So apparently, they're jumping off this, this cliff, mountain, and then they sail around, which is pretty insane. It's right there. So we just finished up shooting this bikini, and now it is time to head home, go get some food, chill for a couple hours because it is so hot right now, and then we're gonna head back to the beach this afternoon, and I think we're gonna do some surfing lessons. Three hours later. We finished up the shoot, and now it is time for the first drink, Long drink of, of the trip. And you guys know what I got? I got the double shot mojito. Surprise. Food is here. We went with the truffle fries, chicken fingers. Next day. Betho, what's on the agenda today? We are getting banan, which is like frozen banana ice cream, and we're going surfing. Eee! Five minutes later. So we had to walk like 10 meters. Like that is exactly where we were. 
was walking and it just plopped off. It just rolled onto the floor. Oh. And I feel like I want to cry right now. <laughs> so sad. I had one job. Get to the beach. Sit down. Eat your breakfast. Alright, she's, she's going back. She's going back in. There you go. The time has come. Going What's going on? Boards? Going surfing. Say it. Go and say the line. Surfing in the USA. Surfing in the USA. So Beth is gonna head on the board. I'm gonna chill on the beach for a little bit. Dad, I know you're gonna watch this and be sad, but we're going snorkeling later. Beth just finished up out of the ocean. How was it? It was beautiful. It was beautiful. Got some like gnarly waves dude like it's so sick she was making fun of me i was like was it gnarly she's like rubbing please don't say gnarly <laughs> anyway we are going home to go lather up in some more sunscreen and then we're actually going to go for a snorkel on a catamaran on a catamaran <laughs> hey. three hours later all right we just got the catamaran for this afternoon ready betho ready so this is the boat, this is called the Moana and we're actually going to be going snorkeling. So this is the gear here and hopefully it clears up a little bit because it's looking pretty grey right now. Alright, we've got some fish down here. You can see there's a bunch of other boats that have pulled up here so that they can all snorkel over here. And you guys know that a boat is the perfect excuse for a bucket hat. Beth is going to show off with a backflip. <laughs> and I don't even have to wear a life vest. Yes, you probably should. Oh, she's going off the top. Beth! Alright, that's better. The captain of the ship is going to do a big jump. Let's go. Off the back of this catamaran. Kind of what? <laughs> I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Five minutes later. Yeah! <laughs> Are you alright? You cleared it by so much. So now that Beth is done showing off doing tricks, we are heading back into the land and we're going to go get some food. So we got off the boat. It was actually really, really fun. Did you like it? It was really yeah, good. It was perfect weather. So we got off the boat. We decided to sit in the park and to watch the sunset. And now, more importantly, we've decided to go get some very fine dining. Pizza. The nicest place on the island, Papa John's. <laughs> so if you don't know what Papa John's is, actually, it's kind of like Domino's, like Papa very, Papa. very similar thing, very cheap, very yummy. Do it. The next day. Good morning. So we had way too much pizza last night, and I'm actually doing a shoot today for a brand called Sculpology. So I had just had my hair and makeup done, and we're at the beach right now. This is. This is actually the same beach that we were at the other day, but today we're doing an active wear campaign, so it should be pretty fun. There's like a videographer and a photographer, so it's gonna be pretty busy. 23 looks, um, and I'm definitely feeling pretty tired. Had to get up at five to be here by now, but I've got my coffee, and I just had a wrap. Actually, the best wrap I've probably ever had. It was from Starbucks, and it had egg whites and spinach, and it's like, I don't really know what sauce, but Wow, wow, we were. It was really, really good. So anyway, now it is time to get changed into my first look. At the moment, I'm just wearing my truck pants and a little kind of sports bra theme with a coat because it was a little bit chilly and a little bit drizzly, but now I guess it's time to get to work. So this is the beach we're at today. It's bright and early. There's actually not really many people here. So I just had a car change for my first look. I'm wearing a really pretty kind of aqua blue set. And look who I found, guys. This Hi. is my beautiful friend, Sina. Nice to be on your blog. This is actually the first time we've met. So yes. I don't know, I don't really know how we met. I think, I guess it was through Instagram. We yes. kind of followed each other. I don't know if I followed No, we all. met on Farmers Only. <laughs> Farmers and Only. it was nice. On my profile, she says that she loves goats. <laughs> so I love goats too. So we became best friends. <laughs> So you guys, she has an amazing social media. I'm gonna link her below, and I guess Aww. I guess I was like a fan girl of your socials. I don't know how we found each other, but anyway, we here were we are. Of each other, and we finally <laughs> found each other. We're actually shooting today together, so it's gonna be pretty fun. Yes, stay tuned, guys. Let's do it. So we're like halfway through the shoot now. It's been a few hours. This is one of the active wear sets that I've just put on. This is the little change tent we have set up here. Photographer, videographer, 
Cena and we got Ryan on house keeping us looking <laughs> looking okay. okay. It started raining, on the so we the ran hill, into right the tent. Right? Sand, sand is down. everywhere. There's a beach shop next to it. I know. I don't know. Even Look at this! Okay. <laughs> it was on my face too. Three hours later. We just wrapped up the shoot. It's like 3 p.m. Seriously ready for some food and to relax a little bit. Thanks guys. We've got the whole team. Everybody's on their part. Thank you, Ray. <laughs> So I just got home from an 11 hour shoot day. It rained, I just jumped out of the shower. I'm not even gonna fix my makeup. This is as good as it's gonna get. This is the makeup I did at five this morning. So I just quickly put on something that is isn't active wear, just a plain dress and a coat. I'm so sunburnt, my skin hurts. Like it hurts to move right now. But I'm really excited because it's our last day. So me and Beth are about to pop some champagne. Cheers, it's in Hawaii. Finish the champagne. Now we're off to a few little dinner date. We're gonna go see the sunset at a beautiful place called The Deck. Mm -hmm. um, we actually found it on Instagram, so it's gonna be interesting to see. So we just got to a place for dinner and drinks. Let me show you guys. This is the sunset situation. Anyway, now it is time to go and enjoy the last couple days of my trip. I look so tired, so I decided to opt for sunnies. Anyway guys, as always, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. It was so fun hanging out with you and I will see you guys in my next video.